Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Souk. Today we're going to be making carrot cake with a cream cheese frosting. I'm really excited about this one because I absolutely adore carrot cake. Um, you can make it so moist and yummy, it's amazing. So let's jump straight to it. Preheat your oven to 170 Celsius. That's for a fan assisted oven. So first of all, we're gonna be making the cake part of it. We'll do the frosting afterwards once it's baking. Um, and I'll tell you what I've got here. So we've got butter, 225 grams of butter, uh, 340 grams of light brown sugar, 280 grams of plain flour, and I've also added two teaspoons of baking powder. Uh, we've got four eggs, and I've put a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and we've got our herbs and spices, which is really gonna bring out really nice flavors. I've put in one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ginger, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then we've got our chopped walnuts. I've just roughly broken them up, and it's 120 grams of those. We've got our raisins, which I've done 170 grams of raisins or sultanas. Now what you want to do with any dried fruit is make sure you soak them beforehand because otherwise it will pull out the moisture of your cake. So I've soaked these in warm water for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, and lastly, obviously we've got our carrots and I've grated these up and I've got 225 grams. Okay, so let's get going. Let's start off with our fats and our wet ingredients. So I'm going to throw in the butter first to get that going. Mix that until it's beaten up, just about 10 seconds. Okay, nice and simple. We're going to add our brown sugar, light brown sugar. Now the reason I'm using light brown instead of caster sugar is because it gives a really, really light caramel flavour makes it really sweet and the flavour is just more vibrant. Um, and then we'll throw in our four eggs and our vanilla. And mix that up for about 30 seconds to a minute. If you need to, just scoop down the edges with the bowl so we don't miss any ingredients. So that's all our wet ingredients and fats combined. It's went a really nice sort of caramel light colour. Um, that's perfect. So next we're going to add in our flour and our baking powder and also our spices here. So that's been mixing for about 60 seconds and it's went really light and fluffy. You wanted it on sort of like a medium to high speed. And it's really fluffy there. So scoop it all back into the center. And then we're going to add our actual flavors. So here we've got the walnuts, the sultanas and the carrots. And I'm just gonna chuck them in bit by bit. And give it a good mix in between. So I only wanted to mix that just so it's all combined in the batter and then we'll mix the rest by hand. So get this out and just give it a good scoop around. Make sure it's all mixed in. So that's all mixed in together now. We can get this straight into our pans. I'm going to be using today two six inch pans. Um, but you can use an eight inch, it'll fit in two nice size ones there as well. Um, so I'll pop that in, remember to oil or grease your um, tins and maybe a bit of grease paper at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna do that now and then get them in the oven. I've got my two six inch tins here and I'm just gonna pour in the batter. So 
Just give it a little wiggle and flatten it out. Now I'm gonna get these two in the oven for about 45 minutes at 170 Celsius. So while our cake is in the oven, what we're gonna do is prepare the cream cheese frosting. Um, I've got my butter, cream cheese, and icing sugar. We're gonna get the butter on first, then mix in the cream cheese, and then do half and half of the icing sugar. So let's get that in. I've got my paddle attachment, because this is a bit thicker. And I'm gonna add my cream cheese. Get that mixed up. Make sure you scoop around the edge of the bowl so you're not missing any butter as well. Next, I'm going to get my sieve and pour in my icing sugar. And we'll just do half of that at a time. Be careful when you put this back on not to put it on a high speed, otherwise you will get a puff of sugar in your face. So that's half in and we'll just get it on a slow speed to start with. Again, make sure to incorporate all around the edges and scrape out the bottom as well because the paddle attachment doesn't quite get to all the edges. And then we're going to leave that mix for about a, another minute um, just so it gets all nice and light and fluffy. That's our cream cheese looking lovely, so we're going to scrape that out and pop it into a bowl, cover it with cling film and we can leave it in the fridge until it's ready to use on our cake. I've just got our carrot cakes out of the oven and they smell really good. You can really smell all the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Um, I'm going to turn them over now onto a cooling rack and let them cool until they're room temperature, about 20-30 minutes. Right, and we're back. So what I've done is I've cut one of my six inch cakes in half. Um, I've put the other one to the side for now and I'll just show you how to decorate the, the one. Um, so first of all, I've taken my cream cheese frosting out of the fridge just to let it kind of come to room temperature for a few minutes. Um, that's looking lovely. I've cut my cake in half and what I'm going to do is pop the, put the first one on the cake board here. But so it doesn't slide around everywhere, I'm just going to get this little tool, just get a little tiny dollop on the end there and just spread that and that's going to act as like your glue basically for holding it in place. So we'll get that on here, that's nice and firm and then we'll slop a bit in the middle, all nice technical words I like to use. And then I've got my little offset palette knife that I'll just use to spread it around. Put my nice thick layer on there and then I'll just use this, put that on the top there and what you'll find I've done here is actually used the base of the cake so I've got a nice flat edge. I've turned the cake upside down when it came onto the cooling rack so if you have a domed edge you don't need to worry about it, just flip it upside down and you can use the flat base as your top. Okay so next we're just going to get it on around the edges. I'll just start spreading it on. What I'll do is the sides first. Okay, so once you've got that all around your edge, I'm just using the back of the palette knife just to go around it, just to clear it up a little bit. We want a nice uh, thin layer because that will be your crumb coat and then it will go into the fridge um, and then you can put a thicker layer on that will make it really nice. Um, if you have more tools available, then what I would suggest using is a bench scraper. 
Um, it basically just gives you that really nice flat edge and you can just spin it and it comes off really easily. Just make sure that you fill in any pockets of air, make sure it's covered well. And then you can go ahead and use your bench scraper if you've got one. So I'm just putting it completely flat right on the side like this. And I'm not going to dig in hard, just lightly go over the top of it so it smooths it all out on a slight angle. And it will just give you that really nice thin crumb coat that we're looking for. And then we'll get some on the top as well. Okay, so that's our crumb coat done. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you've got it a nice smooth on the edges and on the top. And we'll put that in the fridge again for about 20 to 30 minutes to let that set and then we'll go over with our nice thick coat. Remember to put your cream cheese frosting back in the fridge as well. We don't want it going too runny in this nice hot weather. Right, so we've got the cake back out the fridge and our cream cheese frosting. Um, and what I'm going to do here is just put on a thicker coat just to go all the way around and on the top and then we can get decorating. Then if you've got a bench scraper, you can go around it and just make it a bit smoother. Okay, so you can just leave it like that, but I'm gonna spruce it up a little bit. First of all, I'm gonna dip my spatula right into the middle and just start to spin, slowly coming out to the edge, and it's just gonna make a nice little look on the top there. So I've got a little bit of excess um, cream cheese frosting. I've just popped it into a piping bag and I'm just gonna do some really cute little decorations on the top, just to make it pop a little bit more. So that's me all done. And lastly, I think what I'm gonna do is just add some walnuts, chopped walnuts to the side of it. So that's our carrot cake all done. Doesn't it look really good? with the walnuts all down the sides and the little piping on the top. You can make this really easily at home and I hope if you do you can share a photo on my Facebook page. I'd love to see anything that you try out as well or any variations. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're enjoying yourselves in the sunny weather at the moment um, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much. Bye!